this episode of the Weird Obscure World Podcast. I have been abducted. Wait, what? The main forms they take are reptilian entities. Ah, well, all right. Yeah, welcome to the show. Sorry for the late start, but I just got off. Welcome to the show. All right. So there's that. Ta-da. Okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. So you got some news? Weird news. Yeah. Okay. So I saw this story. It's been about six days. And I've I've just been kind of uh, chewing on it for a minute. Comes to you from the state of Iowa. Mm-hmm. A gentleman, I don't want to call him a gentleman, a man by the name of Benjamin Schreiber was sentenced to death in 1977 for beating a man to death. Mm-hmm. Or no, he was sentenced to life in prison. For beating a man to death in 1977. Mm-hmm. Um, now, he filed a do not resuscitate. And it was a, a legal binding do not resuscitate. It was actually on the Des Moines register. And he died. He was apparently dead for about three minutes when the um, medical staff at the penitentiary resuscitated him. So now he is filing to be released because he was only sentenced to serve one lifetime. Um, Yeah. Um... I got an 11 foot pole. All I've got is a 10 footer. So they apparently when he was suffering prior to his actual death, they contacted his brother and his brother reiterated, listen, my brother does not want to be resuscitated. If he is in pain, you can give him something for pain but you need to let him die. All right. So in, uh, in 97, he was convicted of first degree murder. He beat in, John Dale Terry with an ax handle. Yeah. So um, in 1977, he's been there a long time. It was like a drinking buddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Okay. So, so in from 97 till now, no, 77. No, it says here convicted in ninety in ninety seven. Oh, the story I read says that he he's been in okay. prison since nineteen seventy seven. He's sixty six years old. Well, it says here ninety seven. Seventy seven. He would have went to jail real young, like. Well, like nineteen. Uh, maybe even earlier than that. Because I was born in 77. Uh-huh. And I'm 43. Uh-huh. So, okay, you'd have been 20. Well, anyways, 97 till now is, what, 30 years? Mm-hmm. Is that enough for what he did? Uh, I don't think that's the question. I the wouldn't. Question, the question that I, I think I'm kind of stammering with is he was sentenced to life. Not to life, and then we bring you back, and more life. life. And well, he said it's life, and life is a an actual term, isn't it? In most states, it has a in term most to it. in most states, it's an actual term. So I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't. I mean, yeah. I, oh man, there's too many angles on this one. Do you resuscitate prisoners? I don't. Who die? Well, I don't. Does I don't think that they should let him out. 
I, I mean, I, I wouldn't argue for that because, well, okay, perhaps he's 66 now. I mean, he's been dead once. He's, he's likely not a huge threat to society. Um, you know, there was some extenuating circumstances, I'm sure, drinking and otherwise. But I would definitely look at it as whether he, uh, I would look at whether he, I don't know what to say, Betsy. Yeah, because he's not up for parole. He's, he's, I mean, uh, he's, I, I, uh, as far as he's concerned, he was supposed to be dead. He did not want to be resuscitated. He had filed like five years ago a do not resuscitate order because he's in full renal failure. Hold on a second. I've got a. Yeah. So he's in full renal failure, kidney failure, and he files this legal binding document that says, listen, don't resuscitate me. And then they did. Ah, I don't know. I've I've been chewing on this for a couple of days because I just don't know. Man, they need someone way above my uh, yeah. way above my ability to uh, adjourn this. And and as far as I'm concerned, as a tax paying citizen, if the people who are in our prison system who are costing thousands and thousands of dollars a year do not want to be resuscitated specifically if they require extreme medical attention which again costs more money how about let's just not resuscitate them yeah that's insane that i uh, how do you parse that how do you split that hair it's one thing if he didn't, if he hadn't signed that, then I'd be like, okay, it's kind of cruel to just, you know, let them suffer. But then again, I mean, he's under their total control. So I, I, I does he have the right? Like I said, I wouldn't, I'm not touching that. I wouldn't touch that. That's too much for me. That's too, that's insane. Um, <sighs> Shirley says, uh, um, that she thinks he should still be there. It's it's a, a term. They shouldn't have brought him back. And uh, it's bad on their part, but he has a term that he has to. Yeah. I mean, now that he's up. back, the judge, he, he filed. And the judge said, listen, if you're alive and you're able to file this, then you're still serving time, which I get. He needs to be there. Yeah. But... Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he looks. I'm looking Were at the picture. He looks like a grumpy old codger, but that's not saying <laughs> much because as we get old, we all look like grumpy old codgers. I mean, I'm not that old, and I've already crossed that codger. Uh, You've been codgerified. You've got your yeah, codger badge. I, I, I am. I am a codger. I don't. I don't. I don't know. This one I've been chewing on because I don't. I don't know how I. I don't know. Okay, mistakes are made all the time. Maybe it was just a mistake to resuscitate him. God, even then, I mean, look at it from their state. What if what if his family said, could he be resuscitated? Yeah, but he had a DNR. Oh, well, we don't care. We're still going to sue the state for resuscitating him. Or say he, he something happens to him, and it's like, uh, I don't know, something quick. They can bring him out quick. Do they have time to pull his file, start flipping through it? What if it happened at midnight and the warden's office is locked? Or, you know, there's so many other angles. So when in doubt, save a life. Not to mention, I'm sure his life was saved by someone who's trained to save lives, probably took maybe an oath to save lives. So it's it gets super complicated. It gets, yeah. now would I let him out? No, maybe I'd let him have extra ice cream. You know, <laughs> maybe give him a conjugal visit. He could have a Wyoming conjugal visit. We will bring him. Um, we'll bring him a sheep. Oh, sheep are Put cute. Put it in a little dress. 
A no, little that's tutu. terrible. Eat in a tutu. Wyoming conjugal. Done and done. done. I don't know. That story, I don't know. I've been chewing on it for a day or two. Strange news. Listen, resuscitate me. All right? I don't care if I'm missing everything from my lungs down. Bring me back. Always. If I'm uh, a vegetable. If I'm missing an arm or a leg, <laughs> leave me down. Just No. Um, no. Walk Listen. by, kick some dirt on me, give me those <laughs> last rights, call it a day. Uh, you know, I don't. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know. It, it's already happened. Too <laughs> late. I can't do it. All right. I got a story. All right. What have you got? A glorious bastard. A, a personal hero. Oh. A man who, uh, who I dare say is a genius built like few other men can be. Oh, no. This guy comes from Westford, Vermont. Okay. He's been trying to build a, a garage. And uh, the town's been messing with him. They've been holding it up, not letting him build it. Uh, no garage, the garage for like to work on... Uh, to work on cars, I suppose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay. So he's he's disgusted with his city council and whatever they call him back there. So he builds a statue in their honor. <laughs> <laughs> he got a <laughs> he got a big old. You're town. number one, huh? He, and he and he built a bird finger sixteen feet in the air and oh. pointed at his town. <laughs> and I it's lit. It. That thing is glory. Yeah, he put lights around the bottom of it. You it's can see glorious. it at night. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gonna be a new town landmark. It's That's amazing. what they're gonna be known for. It, you know what? I I love it. I love it. The town's jerking him off. He's trying to open a business, and the town's probably being controlly like small towns are. So he's just, all right, what can I do? I can build a statue. And he has a, he has a work of art commissioned. Now, they didn't make him take this down? I don't know. I don't know if they can. I don't know the particulars about it but i love it <laughs> i think that it's beautiful and amazing you know if I, if I put up a christmas tree this year i'm gonna put a bird finger for the star as an old you one. are I'm not i am oh oh it. god it's just you know telling your city you know you guys keep taxing me more and doing all this but you won't let me start a business so I can be more profitable for you. Yeah. I love it. Read another story in Tennessee. Um, they, uh, the city council, in order to pay for police, was having a hard time um, making revenue to pay for the five the, the huge numbers. I know. It's a town of yeah, you know, I think something like 7,000 people. They had five police officers having a hard time of affording all five of them. So they came out with the rule that every officer has to write, like, I think it was like 217 tickets per. That's like year. a third of the town. That's crazy. That is crazy numbers. I mean, if you got 217, you work an average of 15 days, give or take, or or let's say you work eight hour shifts. Let's say you, you know, whatever it is, that's like three tickets an hour. It's just crazy numbers. So one of the police officers recorded, because in Tennessee, it's illegal for city officials to 
have a mandated ticket number. They record it, so the uh, city council um, punished them by getting rid of three of the five police or something like that. And then another thing happened. They got rid of the last one. All they had left was the chief. They had one <laughs> police officer, just the chief. Barney. Barney Fife. He's the and only And I wonder one if they're left. still wanting him to write tickets. But then again, they're saving money. So then he resigns because I'm sure he's overwhelmed. And uh, and that so now the sheriff's department's taking it over. And, and maybe the sheriff's department will just hand him a bill. And th that would be the coverage they need. It doesn't sound, it's not a very big town. It'd be about like Stockton manhandling something, but it's a crazy story. I give it up. I give it up for the, uh, for the police that stepped up and said, ah, this is BS. We shouldn't do something like this. I like that. And, but that's a lot of tickets. That is, that's crazy. That's crazy. I think the police should all, uh, build statues. <laughs> in their yards <laughs> for, sure. for sure it's it reminds me of the mannequin story where his neighbor wouldn't let him have a six oh foot yeah bed. where he so did he the mannequin put, party yeah so he had a naked mannequin party outside <laughs> and then he it. reserved a seat for her yeah that was awesome that yeah. was awesome acts right, of well. non-violent Nonviolent uh, protest. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. There's a couple other stories that I'm going to uh, keep in the holster for this weekend. Um, you know, some uh, overseas stories, some other fun stuff. But I wanted to have my happy bird finger story. <laughs> Been enjoying that one all week. Read it three times a day. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, don't sugarcoat it for us, mister. Tell us how you really feel. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I would have it so that at dawn it would rise. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is never a, a lack of weird people out there. If, if that town ever starts selling like decorative shot glasses or anything else. You know what it's going to be. <laughs> you know exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be shot glasses saying, with bird fingers. You'll have a t-shirt with the bird on it. They're make, that's, he's going to make that town known for his bird finger I, statue. I dig it. Yeah. That thing's amazing. You know. Ay, ay, ay. Bird. All right. I think that's the show. Um, didn't That's have many it. joiners tonight, but uh, those who did join, thanks for joining us. Those who are watching or hearing this later, um, come on to our uh, our uh, Facebook and all the different avenues to listen or watch YouTube. Uh, but uh, send us a message. Let us know if you have any crazy stories that you run across. We do get some from, like, what's that, Weird News World? weekly or something we sadly can't use those because those are just pretend yeah or the onion or there's a couple places that are just not yeah they're just made up satire so to speak yeah yeah they are satire um surely said they could sue the state it's wrong to go against a dnr yeah they could it's just you have to prove that they neglectfully went against the dnr well apparently in in his case they did but because knowingly they actually, went against it or? yes yes because they they were aware of the dnr because he had been very ill mm -hmm. um in full renal failure they all knew about the dnr they contacted his brother when he was in complete failure and his then brother why told they bring them him back i don't know because if they contacted like everything and whatever else, I'd a, you know, I'd a call the priest and a, you know. Yeah. Whatever. So I'd in a, his in his God. case. Oh, did you hear? They have arrested. Speaking of prison, <clears throat> prison deaths and suicides, they've oh. arrested the guards involved with Epstein. 
And so I'm thinking in my head goes. that this is going to – they're going to try – they're going to charge these guards. They're going to be fall guys, and they're going to try to sweep this all under the rug with it. Yeah. It's up to us to keep it alive. Yes, we all know that you can hang yourself with toilet paper. I mean, I want to start selling toilet paper rolls and call them, you know, Epstein suicide devices, whatever. <laughs> but – I seriously do. I want to like make a noose out of toilet paper and sport it around, you know. But anyways, if these guards were not in on it, then they're fall guys. Then they're terrible. But if they were in on it, they got paid. They got paid a lot. And and I tend to lean towards they were in on it because uh, here's what I'm understanding. His uh cell was 15 feet away from the guard desk. The cameras were out. Shocking, I know. The guards all through the night never once went and checked on him, but filled out the paperwork that they did. You know, and do I think the guards did the deed? I guess it all depends on how much uh, he was paid by everybody. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's crazy. Did you see that uh, report where that guy was talking about German shepherds and he was on like Fox News? This guy was oh, on yeah. Fox. Yeah. Yeah, and at the end, said, it, yeah. If you want to get one of these, you shouldn't. They're highly trained. They're military working dogs. And Epstein did not commit suicide. Yes. And the yeah. guy was like, oh, <laughs> okay. To you, Laura. <laughs> yeah. Every, but it's a thing. The whole country is saying this is bullshit. You got yeah. ABC News which is playing nothing but the impeachment dog and pony dog shit, taking away my price is right for the impeachment. <laughs> I have a severe issue. ABC, you guys have soiled your good name too much, too much lately. The price is right is a good stand-up show. <laughs> Let's make a deal. Another good stand-up show back to back right there. <laughs> Young and the Restless. Don't care, but I, I'm sure somebody likes it. But the price is right. And let's make a deal. We're being interrupted for the Dog and Pony Congress and Senate, <laughs> whatever show, for, for the dick measuring contest that is our politics. Yes. Let's get to what's important. And that Bring it is, back. that is Plinko. <laughs> that is Mountain Climber. Those are important. <laughs> Let's make a deal. The zoinks. That's what's important. No That's more. Right. I don't care about the impeachments. I just don't want to miss out on my The Price is Right anymore. I know. I never watch television, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, I watch those at work. They're on at break time, so. <laughs> Who'd have thought of it? <laughs> there are my stories. All right. Yeah, but thanks for joining us. Um, we... <laughs> And we're through Halloween, so we're going to be coming out of the gate real soon. Uh, conspiracy. Real soon with some conspiracy stuff. I've got the next one on lock right now. Kind of gets even crazier than the last stuff. The CIA, I think, could just, we, this show could be nothing about CIA antics for infinity. Yeah. God damn. It's crazy. Unfortunately. Yeah, the uh, MK projects abound, and you find new ones all the time. Flip over a rock. They did the CIA did some fuckery there every time. All right. Yeah. And uh, we know Epstein did not kill himself. He did not right. hang himself with the the sheets were made of paper. How? Seriously, it, it's ridiculous. No. All right. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night, and we will see you on Saturday. Awesome. Thanks for joining. All right. Bye. Bye.